To assemble the components of our triptych assignment into one video, we will first open Premiere and create a new project. I'm just going to call the project T2. Having opened the project, we have the preview window where we'll see our video, um, this area where we'll have transformations and effects, um, this area where we'll have our media files to work with, and here we have the timeline. So to import files, I'm simply going to select and drag the relevant videos into this media section. Um, and having done that, I will, in order of how they appear in the movie, them in the timeline section. Now the waves we see down here are sound, which we can just ignore. Just like layers in Photoshop, we can hide these various timelines to see what's below. So having selected the first timeline, I'll now go to rotation. Um, and this option may not matter if your videos are shot horizontally. And I'll rotate it by negative 90 degrees. Um, and now I'll proceed to enter that for the other two videos so that they're all in the portrait orientation. Um, now going back to the top one, I'll go to the scale and you'll notice that when you hover over a number in any of these settings, the mouse cursor turns into this little hand and you can just click on the number and drag it and it'll work kind of like a slider. Um, and I'm going to determine what is the amount to which we should reduce this file. And just eyeballing it in and out, 56% looks good. So I'll now select the other two channels and scale those down also to 56%. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is position the videos. And here we have this position option. And on the horizontal axis, I can slide the video over. There's also a vertical axis, but for the case of this one, we don't need to make any vertical adjustments. So now I'll go to the third video and slide this one out to the right. And there we go. Um, to create a slow motion effect, which of course is optional, I'm going to select all three video channels. And I'm going to go to select the time interpolation to frame blending. Then I'm going to click again. Perhaps I can only do this one at a time. speed and duration. Having clicked on speed and duration, I'm going to lower the speed to 50%. And I'll do the same for the other two clips. And this gives us a full playtime now of about a minute. Now, 
to get these all to the same length, I will use this slider here to move forward in the timeline. And then I'll just grab the end of the timeline for the third channel, drag it back, so it snaps into the place with the others. Having done that, I will simply go to File, Export, Media, And here I will select QuickTime as the format. 